Okay. Okay, not the most fun I've ever had. And, okay, all right. So let's kill some of these spawners here. There's only, you know, a million of them. I don't want to spend too much time here. Um, I'm getting shot at by a skeleton somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he is. Um, on the bright side. Okay, so. Okay, so here I am out of range of that. One over there. Okay. Okay. Let's run forward real quick. Holy crap, this is so incredibly dangerous. And if I had a water bucket, it wouldn't be quite so bad. But since I don't have one, I I thought I had one at one point, but apparently I lost it during one of my deaths. I'm not sure. Ooh, that's terrifying. Um, so I don't know what happened to it, but that's definitely something I need to rectify. Because this would be made a lot safer if I just simply had a... Uh, water bucket, and in fact, um, well, not really in fact about a water bucket, but in fact, I'm going to need another sword here, because that one's going to break here shortly. Um, and my, oh no, my nice pants broke. That sucks. Seems like armor, I, yeah, I think that's actually, now that I think about it, I think that's one of the changes they made in 1.9 or 1.10. I think they reduced the durability on a bunch of the armor. Um, so, yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a, I think that's a thing. Oh, that's a terrifying thing. Oh, I'm burned to death. Okay, let's kill this one real quick. I don't know how I missed that one. Okay. Uh, light that up. Ooh, I think I see something up there, though. This guy to okay. Okay, there we go, guys. I think. I think this might be one of my monument pieces, which, yay, that means we're actually making progress. Okay, lapis. I don't know if I need lapis for anything, but we'll grab it just in case. 
Okay. And it is a monument block. And my wife just handed me ice cream, so I just won out big time. All right. Um, green beacon cave loot. Hey, look, this is a green beacon, apparently. Um, I'm not sure where the beacon is. Uh, I've talked to Utoxin a little bit about it. Um, he's not sure either. My theory was because the map was designed for 1.9 point, I don't know, something. Um, and because I'm lazy, I had a 1.10 something, whatever the, whatever 1.10 is um, right now. Basically, it's just the newest version of Minecraft. I had a uh, installation of that already. Uh, so instead of installing a new, just 1.9, just for this map, um, I just used the uh, 1.10 that I already had installed. So I'm pretty sure that's probably what's causing it. I don't really understand why that would be an issue. Um... Okay, okay, nope, 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 nope. Okay, there's that guy dead. Or was that skeleton that was shooting me? Oh, right there. What was... Why do I hear blazes spawning? That is absolutely terrifying. Okay, let's, um... Light this up real quick quick but then I've almost I've I mean I've got to I've got to look to see if I can find the blaze spawner right because I mean that's got to be something good um oh there's iron there too and I'll totally grab that what I should you know what that's actually what I'm gonna do guys I am going to smelt some of this iron because I have a furnace on me and I am going to, let's see, let's step back a little bit just so that I know I'm not spawning more blazes. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, one, two, three. Do that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm totally going to do this because I the a bucket of water will make this um, much, much safer for me. Uh, is there anything else in here? I don't really need those bones. Eh, everything else here is okay. I guess I'd stick bread there too, just as a alternate food source. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, awesome. Um, and actually, well, crap. Yep, bread, I think you just, <laughs> I think you just got replaced again. Though I think I'll actually use the bread right now instead of the apples. Just because I think it will give me a little better, um, little better saturation there. All right, now where was that? I know why there was some water here somewhere. Um, was it here? Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, bucket of water, get. Now, where was that? Okay. 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 Ouch. Okay. You know, this is probably a really bad idea, honestly. Um, all right. What's what the 
heck the how the freak Ooh, that's kind of cool though. Um, let's see, Kyo, what can I drop to pick those up? Oh, and I got another water bucket. That's awesome. Um, all right, let's. Whoop! Hi. Ah. Okay, that is absolutely ludicrous. I don't know what I'm doing here. What is he still shooting at? I am reasonably sure that he cannot see me. Okay, he, however, can definitely see me. Okay. Alright, this is... I'm, I think I'm giving this up as a bad idea. Um, especially considering that I do have a monument block on. Uh, that was actually incredibly dumb now that I think about it. So, screw this. I'm running back to the monument, guys. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera. So, I will see you guys in just a minute. And welcome back. Back. I made it back without too many problems. So first off, we've got the monument block and stone brick, which goes right there. Yay! I thought there was fireworks. I heard fireworks. I don't know where it went. Anyway, um, so there's that. So we're one third of the way done with that. Um, let's go ahead and throw down the green beacon loot. Ooh. Diamond sword, diamond pickaxe. I like it. Um, got two dungeon loot chests. Uh, another book. A bunch of food. Um, <laughs> okay, loot finding kit. More loot. Ooh, protection four. Very nice. Protection three. Sharpness. Okay, so there's definitely some good stuff here. Um... Wow, okay, so awesome. But let's go ahead and look at some more of this loot here. Um, let's go ahead and I guess go here. Um, wow, okay, awesome. Awesome, more awesome. Got lots of arrows now. Of course, we weren't really super lacking to begin with. Um, let's see, I've got, oh, I've actually got one more. Um, uh, okay. Bonus glass proximity detector. Hmm, that's interesting. I'll have to take a look at that, but I do have another book here. Um, I think that's all my... Yeah, it looks like that's all my loot. Let's go ahead and read the books. Uh, so after the green beacon, if you feel protected enough, look for one of the red beacons. Conquer a surface area filled with cobwebs to earn the second monument block and some great loot. Okay, awesome. And I think I actually have seen, I don't think I saw the beacon. Like I said, for some reason the beacons are not working. Um, but I'm pretty sure I know the area, or at least one of the areas he's talking about. Um, when I found the uh, shortcut... I think near there was a uh, red beacon area. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. So bonus loot finder. Detect nearby bonus loot boxes hidden throughout the surface of the world. When the bonus glass protector is detector is held, it will suggest how close you are to a nearby loot box. If no boxes are nearby, it will display cold and play a low tone. If you get within about 120 blocks of a box, then the warm, uh, this place is warm and the pitch continues. If you get within 60 blocks, it says very warm, and within 30 blocks, it says hot, and the tone's pitch is highest. But note, 
It only detects surface boxes that have not been looted of the stained glass bonus monument, and furthermore, it this device detects only boxes containing stained glass blocks with a color that does not currently appear in the top half of the bonus monument chest spawn. Oh, okay. Thus, if you want to find only boxes containing remaining stained glass colors with other colors you've already found in the bonus monument chest. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. Uh, if you want to detect every unloaded box, then remove all of them. Um, okay. Note that you can control the volume and tone of volume voice speech. Oh, okay. Very warm. That is really cool. Let's see if we can find just one. Okay, so I've got hot. Okay, I'm guessing that I need to go... Yep, okay, so let's go back this direction. Let's try going over here. Okay, so it's back this direction. This is actually really cool, guys. I wonder how he... I mean, I'm not a programmer or anything. I don't know how he would have done that. Um, okay, that's... Huh. So, now I'm kind of stumped, because I would have thought that that would... Okay, so what does it say? Um, 60 blocks, very warm. Within 30 blocks, it says hot. Okay, so there's... I guess hot is the closest I can get. So, where is this chest... Okay. I thought it might that dirt was looking weird to me, so I wondered if maybe it was that. Um nothing there. Why is that here? Nope. Okay. Uh is it up in one of these trees maybe? Here, chest loot. Here, chest loot. Okay, let's let's have some science here, okay? Okay, so okay. So if I'm within thirty blocks, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Ah! That... <laughs> Okay, well, that's cool. All right, so we've got another stained glass here, too. Um, fire aspect, emerald, dark oak, stair blocks, I don't really care. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, but, okay, well, I'm not sure where I am as far as my episode length is, guys. Um, but I feel pretty happy with ending right there for today. Um, I found our first monument block. I got another uh, stained glass, um, which apparently there's like 38 of these, so that's not exactly impressive. Um, but, ah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, guys. So, I think I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm super excited that we finally got one of our monument blocks. So, next time, I guess we'll go exploring some more, and maybe... I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll find our next, um, 
our next um, uh, area that we're supposed to be looking for. Um, I'm not sure if I'll attack it just yet. I kind of feel like I need to do some more gearing up. Um, though this diamond sword and pickaxe will definitely help. I'll probably put efficiency on the diamond pickaxe um, and unbreaking, honestly. Um, and then probably sh uh, the highest sharpness I can on the sword. And maybe a knockback if I have one and another unbreaking. And definitely going to put Protection 4 on something as well. So anyway, there's a lot going on. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, be safe.